From our News Nation headquarters in America's heartland, it is time for News for All America. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Beeson in today for Markey. Well, we start with a story that News Nation has been on the ground covering exclusively since the very beginning. The four suspects accused of murdering two Kansas mothers will appear in court for the very first time this morning. Now, this comes as the judge who spoke to News Nation about their deaths is being asked to resign. Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly disappeared last month along a road while on the way to pick up Butler's children for a supervised visit. Investigators say Butler was in a custody battle with her children's grandmother, Tiffany Adams, who's now one of those four suspects charged. Stephanie Haynes joins us now live. So, Stephanie, so many twists and turns in all of this. What are we expecting in court today? Hey, Kelly, good morning. Court records show that all four suspects will go before a judge today at 930. And sadly, Kelly, these court records also show us that today was the day Veronica Butler was supposed to go to court and get expanded visitation rights to see her children from Tiffany Adams, who is the custodial grandmother of those children. And so now it is really coming clear that investigators believe that this custody battle plays a strong motive in this entire tragedy. So Tiffany Adams, the grandmother of those children, her boyfriend, Tan, Tad Cullum, and Cole and Cora Twombly are all charged with first degree murder, kidnapping, conspiracy to commit murder of Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. Footage shows police on Tuesday towing away this white trailer from a property Cullum allegedly had ties to, and witnesses say that they saw that same trailer in the area where the women disappeared. Court records show the 16-year-old daughter of the Twombly's revealed that all four suspects were part of this anti-government group called God's Misfits. The group reportedly met at the Twombly home weekly, authorities saying a fifth person attended those meetings but has not been arrested and not much else is known about this group or its origin and so news nation has been on the ground talking to people in town talking to people who knew the suspects even this local judge who had no idea about the group and was there when authorities raided the home of Tad Cullum. He spoke with News Nation's Brian Enton and then was asked to resign after that interview. It's such a tragedy close to home. You, you hear about these things on the news, you see all this stuff, but when you're this close to the fire, it's a whole different story. Cora Twombly allegedly told her daughter that they were going on a mission the morning Butler and Kelly went missing. That's according to the records. And this wasn't the first time that there was this alleged attempt to go after Butler. There was a stakeout of Butler's home in Hugoton, Kansas, back in February. The bodies of the two mothers were discovered about eight and a half miles away from where their car was found abandoned. They were found on a private property in a hole with hay. And that property, investigators say, Tad Cullum was renting. Uh, for cattle grazing. Meantime, the father of these two children in this case was in rehab at the time of the disappearance, and authorities say that those children have been found safe. Kelly. Wow, that's the good news. A lot to untangle in this story. Excellent reporting, Stephanie. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.